All right, so we went ahead and opened the box up real quick so we can uh, take a look and let's see what fish we have inside here. I was told these are some big fish, so let's, let's check it out. Uh, I got some heat packs. Heat packs are still a little, still a little warm, which is good. It's a little cold here in Michigan right now, but it's cold in Texas where they came from too. So let's see what we got. Uh. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do this a different way. We're gonna float these guys real quick and then show you what they are. All right, these guys are floating. We're gonna let them uh, acclimate to our water here. There's one of the males right there. Right there, he got some nice color in the bag already. I'm sure, you can't see what it is, but uh, I'll let let the cat out of the bag here shortly. There's some males or females. There's four females and two males. There's another male there. But we do have another male and two more females of the species. Um, I've kind of kept the kept it a secret that I've had them. Um, the other three that I have is a nice German line trio of this fish. So, but the male is just so so aggressive towards the females. So I got them separated. They've been separated for a while. So once I seen these popped up on Dave's list that they're available, I had to grab a group to try and put them together in a 125 with a a three um, male six female ratio and see if I can't get these guys to breed. So we're gonna let these guys float and then we'll start letting them go. Let's check out this new group that came in from Dave Schumacher. Now that they've settled in the tank a little bit, I can give you a better. Uh, view of these guys so let's uh let's check them out this is what we got in we got in a group of protomelis palatinus uh mar rocks that's one really nice male there here's the second male here these guys are huge i mean seven inches easily on the males if not bigger um great fish to work with one i tried to work with i had a trio I still have a male from my trio before, but uh, he was pretty aggressive with the other females, so I had to separate them. And then when I seen these on Dave's list, I I wanted to grab another group to try and work with them again, because this is one fish that's underrated for sure. Um, when you talk about sulfur heads too, one thing I want to address is you know sulfur heads a common name, and that applies to three different species. So it's really important to use. Uh, scientific names when you're talking about a fish that could be referred to three species because if you talk about a sulfur head it could be the Alanacara mylandi it could be this this fish here the Protomelis palatinus uh, mara rocks or it could be the autopharynx of the baits uh, zimwi rock that we see in the hobby often referred to as sulfur heads as well so again just it's important when you're talking about using common names that uh, you reference the right fish but really looking forward to working with these guys, hoping we can get some breeding action. This, I put the third male in here, but that didn't seem to work out. Um, he got pretty aggressive with these other two, so I want to try and see if I can get some breeding action from these two. I know they started to mess around a little bit with the, uh, there's five females in here as well. They're just in the 125 that, I, that we moved uh, a couple weeks ago. Just figured I'd give him a shot, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Let's uh, we're gonna give him some uh, some pellets here, and let's see how these guys do now that they're settling in. We got uh, let's grab some Cunningham Cichlids, uh three millimeter pellet here. Let's see if these guys uh, enjoy it. There they go. So yeah, there you can see these guys are selling nicely. They're eating the good. 
so now all we need now we just need some breeding action so hopefully uh we'll get something here soon thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe we're gonna be putting a lot of videos out soon i know i keep saying that but uh we got some new groups we'd really like to start showcasing and and some new things coming here um big thing is we get our tank delivery next month of our 165 gallon tank so excited about that so stay tuned as we work on getting those painted and the adventure of getting those moved to my basement and set up and who knows what fish we're going to put in there kind of have some ideas on a couple but uh maybe ask some opinions on some other predator haps that uh really like to get a group of nimbochromus buscataniatus really and uh work with them but uh those are hard to see hard to find in a big group so we shall see but with that i'll leave you and uh, everybody and stay safe and thanks for watching